Welcome and thank you for joining me for another new moon video. This new moon is at 20 degrees of Sagittarius. That breaks down to two, so here we have duality and that means that this is a major choice point. Thankfully, this is a mostly harmonious chart. This is beautiful energy. The big news is that Neptune in Pisces is now direct. We may see a major change in the collective narrative. The Sun, Moon, and Mars are all in Sagittarius. Our subconscious, conscious, and willpower are now looking to the horizon with hope. They are in a supportive trine by the North Node as though it is blessing this new perspective. However, they are being squared by Neptune and Pisces, so this hope is against the fear-based narrative. Jupiter, the host of this new moon, is trining Mercury and Capricorn, but opposing Venus and Virgo. Jupiter is amplifying our focus on the Capricorn institutions and downplaying our focus on health and cleanliness. Jupiter is at 6 degrees, so this is bringing up relationship issues. Now, this isn't just romantic in nature. This could be relationships with family, friends, co-workers, or even the rest of humanity. Mercury, I meanwhile, is in support of trying to Venus, Lilith, and Scorpio, and Chiron. The underrepresented fully support that we are mentally focused on the Capricorn institutions. Mercury is at 8 degrees, which represents rhythm and repetition, so we may be very aware of the breakdown of some things we so do regularly. Our grocery bill, for example, may be the focus of our attention this moon cycle as prices climb, representing the lower value of the dollar. Neptune and Pluto continue to linger in that supportive sextile. The fear-based media loves endings. Neptune is at 24 degrees, highlighting relationships. Pluto is at 28 degrees, which breaks down to 1, so there is a new level to the breakdown of an institution. Eris is still with an orb of the North Node that's at 21 degrees, which breaks down to 3, the number for growth. Eris at 23 degrees, the number of change, because it breaks down to 5, holds on, to, holds on the reins are starting to slip, so we can expect the chaos and strife to start to ebb. Now let's get into the symbols for this new moon. The indigenous moon for this new moon cycle is deep snow moon. This is the last moon of the western direction of water and perfecting. Here we are in awe of the sparkling carpet of snow that matches the twinkling of the stars above. This is a type of deep reverence. The Hebrew letter for this new moon cycle is Semek. The only fully enclosed Hebrew letter, Semek, starts the word for Sephiroth, the name for the divine forms of creation. Semek also starts the Hebrew word for secret, as the nature of our reality in the nature of our reality, the Creator is kept hidden from us until we seek the Divine. The tarot card is Temperance. This is the card of balance. Modern Hand explains that Semek is a tent peg or prop. Temperance is one of the concepts that holds everything up. Whenever we overindulge or deny something to ourselves, we are experiencing extremes. Temperance is a symbol for the middle path, or the Goldilocks zone. The path of Temperance on the Tree of Life goes right up the center. There is a part in the movie Labyrinth, a film Brian Froud, the artist of the fairy oracle, worked on, where Sarah asks a worm where there is another path. She was tired of going straight because it was boring and uneventful. After showing her the illusion of the wall where she could enter the maze, the worm comments that if she had gone straight, she would have gone right to the castle. By overthinking things, she actually made her journey more difficult. Although more interesting, and she made more friends, and the journey helped her grow up so that she could defeat the Goblin King, but most of us deviate from the straight and narrow path. That's okay, however, as long as we catch ourselves and come back to it. In fact, most of the people we teach, who teach Kabbalah as magic warn not to go up the center path, but suggest that it should be navigated in a lightning bolt zigzag pattern, because those who go straight up the path to Source never come back. I follow the advice of Edgar Cayce and only work with Source, one creator. For me, I don't know why anyone bothers with an intermediary. Our fairy oracle card is the Lady of the Harvest. The words associated with the Lady of the Harvest are powerful. Harvest, grief, loss, and release. The Lady of the Harvest is the crown of the Fairy Oracle, and she represents full maturity. Grief, although painful, can actually lead to more of a depth of love within the individual when worked with positively. Through loss, we learn much about ourselves, far more than if everything were simply handed to us infinitely. Hence the importance and beauty in the learning process of soul individualization through the temporary human experience on Earth. From experiencing loss, we discover a deep appreciation and love. Sometimes the hardest part of healing grief is moving on. Even when we experience loss, life continues. Overall, while this new moon is beautiful energy, we may be humbled and see things with sober eyes. When Eris was driving the car when conjunct the North Node, people lost sight of what really matters. We may be looking at the world with wiser and more mature eyes this moon cycle, thinking about our relationship with the wider reality and the future we want to see as a collective. The full weight of the events from the last few months may weigh upon us, with major consequences becoming clear. Well, that is it for this video. 
I hope you enjoyed looking at the new moon with me. If you did, hit the like button, comment, or subscribe so more people can find this channel. Bye for now.